Hello everybody, welcome once again to B&D Live, the Dungeons and Dragons live stream where a group of high school friends attempts to play Dungeons and Dragons remotely via the internet. With us as always, we have Steven as Drom the Sorcerer, Tim as Vinny the Rogue, Aaron as Lily the Fighter, and McCool as Serpent the Paladin. I am Sean, your ever faithful and humble DM, and this is B&D Live. We'll figure it out. Tim and Aaron could always help you out too. Hello, everybody. We're gonna do a little recap because uh, this group hasn't met in a, in a long time. Uh, it was De Gaulle. You were in Red Run, a small-ish, medium-sized town, small, small to medium-sized town in Torin. Uh, you met Aunt Burma and Uncle Bunkle. They turned out to be the caregivers of Twizzard. You end up having lunch at Burma's. You learn about Twizzard, and Drom starts to train in Arcane Matters with Aunt Burma. Gorin, uh, after successfully hunting some Remoraz with you earlier, uh, bids farewell and leaves. Meanwhile, uh, Sir Penn and uh, Ostrid had been hanging out somewhere. Uh, we didn't really know where they were. Uh, Lily and Vinny end up going into town to find a blacksmith, which they do. They find Gumley Stoneheart. The, uh, the Dwarven Smith sells a silvered stag sword to Vinny and hones Lily's <coughs> ancient scimitar. Uh, Drom continues training with Burma, who teaches him a bit of reading, enough to uh, some of the characters on the spell scrolls that he learns about. Meanwhile, Lily and Vinny uh, go to Tilly's Tavern, and you try the cold beard which is a drink that turns your hair white. Or no, it turns it, freezes it. Yeah, freezes your hair for, for a certain amount of time. It has a little bit of a mint taste. Uh, there you learn about Big Jim the Dwarf, who's recently retired because of some gold he found in an ancient tomb. What's that all about? Oh, Lily's also a little jealous of Sir Penn's time spent with Austria, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, the next day you head out and uh, while Drom is training, uh, you, uh, Vinny and uh, Lily, find some sheep farmers. Learn about a tabaxi who has a bunch of animal friends who helped him out. Uh, a little more searching through the wilderness and you find Big Jim's camp. And uh, Jonesy, a dwarf no shirt, offers to take you the next day to the ancient tomb that they found that made them rich. So you stay the night with the dwarves. And then on Dalk, you head toward the tomb. You explore a bit. Uh, apparently, Leafly took all the animals with her, except for the bats and spiders. Little confusing what exactly that means, but there are some empty pedestals, pairs of empty pedestals in this cave. Uh, there's also a back room with some runes on the floor that you are told will close the door if you go in there. So uh, instead of uh, exploring by yourselves, go back to the camp. Uh, by the way, Lily had drawn a piece of the tablet. None of the dwarves, Big Jim included, uh, recognized that piece of the tablet drawing. Uh, and so you head back to Burma's. And uh, as you get there in the evening, or no, I guess it's the next morning, um, Drum says, uh, hey guys, watch this. And apparently that's where we ended. So Drum, what are you going to do for them? Some kind of new trick that Burma taught you, I guess. Oh, and you also all leveled up. So Nicole probably doesn't know that. Uh, sorry, Nicole. But we'll figure that out as we go. <laughs> or maybe you do know that. I don't know. Did I tell you that? We're doing do it. Do I level up or not? No, you do. You do level up. Oh. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, so all of you now should be level 12, I want to say. Mm -hmm. So if you're not level 12, Nicole, you can make it. I'm still logging in. All right, no worries. All right, Drome. What, uh, what new arcane skills are you going to show off for these guys? I am not going to show off my new skill. Oh. I'm going to keep it a secret. Okay. Fair enough. Well. Well. Oh yeah, I didn't know if I was going to take a feat or up my... That's what it was still... Maybe in the evening. Ooh. For a long rest. Fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Do we need to discuss the leveling up at all? Or is everyone good? Well, the cool's not good, but he's got to log in first. Figure that out. Cool's got a couple of went with, in the way. I went with um, a concentration spell. I know we talked about like that being the the turn from having training because I can now do a concentration stuff. I love it. That sounds like past us. We're really smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not the correct. You're not with Jonesy. You're with Berman Bunkle. All right. So yeah. So you guys. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if uh, I don't know if Lily and Vinny have told. Sir Penn and Drama about what they've discovered, so. No, we did not. No, because we had just gotten back when yeah. Drama was surprised us by saying, look what I could do. I'm not going to show it to you right now. <laughs> A little bit of continuity. Uh, you had us on tenterhooks. They've been waiting for three weeks in the physical realm to find out what now <laughs> Um, we, we should find Serpent and Astrid, though. Yeah. Did they ever come back? Oh, yeah, Serpent's there. Serpent's there. He, uh, all hey, guys. He asked around. Found you. Is he covered with leaves and, like, pine needles and stuff? <laughs> Becoming one with the forest. They've been out in the woods for I don't know how long. <coughs> Hanging out with Astrid. Mm -hmm. He's becoming yeah. more... Astrid's outside somewhere in the... Maybe in the barn or something. Um, yeah, um, so I guess we tell everyone what we saw and who we met, a shirtless dwarf. Yep. And they had a very nice campfire, and they brought us to this place where this little leafly person took all the animals away, so there were no animals, and then there was, a, like, a cave, we went in the cave, and then there was, like, a bunch of statues, but they had puzzles, but they were already figured out, so we didn't do that. Then there was a door that was closed that we could open, but then we didn't want to because you might not, if you went inside, you might not be able to ever get out again. So we're not sure if it's the room was full of anything. I think there were two. Well, we, we poked our heads in. Yeah. We just didn't actually physically enter in because we didn't want to step on any of the runes that could lock us in. Yeah. Yeah, there were two empty pedestals, two, two sort of larger empty pedestals with a hanging brazier in between, and then there were two uh, skeletons against the back wall. So we thought this could possibly be like the stone golem room, and maybe there's a tablet in there, or at least maybe clues to where the tablet could be. Because if they all found gold down here, clearly the dragon has not been in here. Unless that's the dragon's hoard, but I don't know. Then it's cleaned out. Now the dragon's probably angry. Or but it might be something. worth looking for the tablet in this cave. I mean, it's it's not far, right? No, it was like a four hour, four hour walk, something no. like that. Uh, you you can get there. All right. You can get there in one day. Now that you know the way. Are you guys interested in checking that out? Yeah, I've. I've spent a lot of time like right around here lately so I think, uh, I think a nice walk would be good for me
Alright. Alright. All right, so you guys are going to pack up and head out? myself doesn't my stuff only like fits a certain way in my bag you know like I can't just like shove all of it in there kind of needs to needs to be organized I need a minute hmm I'm oh, sorry oh I'm just saying like I, I just need a minute to organize my stuff and pack it like it can't I can't just shove everything in there that was great a mess if you guys could just bear with me you probably pulled it all out to show Aunt Burma. <laughs> all right, all right, excellent. After Drone gets everything assembled, <laughs> uh, Serpen gives a call. Ostrid joins you again, and uh, and you head out. Um, before you go, Aunt Burma says. Now I'm, you know, first I you got me all worried about you going off to fight Snowcrest, and now you're going to some, ex you're exploring some ancient tomb. Just to, you know, take care of yourselves out there, okay? We'll come back in mostly one piece. I should hope so. And you, don't forget to do your studying tonight. Tonight? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Every right. night, practice. Every night, practice. Practice. Practice makes improvement. Mm -hmm. That's what the dwarves say. That's that makes sense. <laughs> dwarves would say that. <laughs> All right, you guys head off into the wilderness surrounding Red Run and uh, spend the day. Spend the day traveling, and uh, you know it's overcast. It's a little chilly. It's a cold wind blowing, but it's not too terrible. Um, Vinny and Lily, having done this journey now there and back, you're quite familiar with it. And you, uh, did you want to swing by Big Jim's camp, or did you want to sort of cut it off and go straight to I the cave? I think we could bypass it as long as uh, we know the way to get there. We definitely know the way. Definitely know the way. Because they had no idea about what was really going on. They just capitalized on the looting. It was yes. that did all of the work. It's true. All right. And I was yeah. hoping that we would be able to maybe send a word out to Leafly, but Leafly seems to be not available. Yes. Uh, from what the dwarf said and from what you uh, maybe Amber would have said as well, uh, Leafly had left on a ship for Tulu. All right. You guys reached there uh, a bit, uh, you know, maybe mid-afternoon um, and uh, you can see that the entrance to the cave is, is as you left it the other day. All right. How would you like to proceed? Uh, we can start walking through and give the official tour. On this side there's some columns. Same maybe on this side. Yeah. Uh, if you lit these these um, braziers, yep, they the would side. have it would have allowed certain figures to come to life. However, those figures have all been removed from the uh, the cave here, mm -hmm. and they are now off with Leafly, except for ones that are a little bit further in mm -hmm. uh, that were. I guess less desirable mates. Too heavy, hefty boys. Well, no, it was the spiders and the bats. Yeah, Ooh. spiders and the bats. Well, they were brought to life, but they're still in the cave somewhere. Good to know. Oh, okay. Hmm. I moved to the end of the line, going towards the back <laughs> of it. <the> uh, <sighs> Vinny, don't, don't you want to be? Oh, uh, Lily knows the way. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, just guarding our rear. So I guess Lily will take the front, um, but she's also going to be extremely careful where she steps 
as she approaches the uh, the one room that has the the ruins on the floor. We got for spider poop. So we're gonna have to combine our our brains and figure out where we'll be able to step and where we won't be able to step so that we don't get locked up in this room. And maybe we should just have somebody on the outside just in case. Yes. That sounds like a reasonable plan. So if we get stuck in there, I'm guessing there's a trigger opening switch on the outside. Yeah, so this is the same type of door that you had... uh that you had encountered uh, with the with the sort of the password letters. So Which, no, I don't even remember how we did it. Yeah, there was like the letters in between. Anyway, at this point, now that the door's been open, it can be opened. It can be opened again. So as long as you have I mean, someone out, as long as you have someone outside, you could open it again. Okay. So I think that's what we should do: is one person stays outside maybe a spell caster so that if spells are required they can still maybe cast in the room unless there's some magic shields that we don't know about yet because wasn't there a magic shield for the other one it was uh there was a silence inside a magical silence inside oh so you could hit from outside but you couldn't pass on the inside or it couldn't be evoked inside Nothing. No. No spells with verbal components could be used in the other one. Right. Yeah. In that room, but if you were in outside. The, the room, it, yeah, if you were outside the room in the library still, you could cast it. And the spell could take effect inside the room as long as you didn't cast it in the room. Correct. All right. So I think that we should use that knowledge and apply it here as well. So spellcaster may be on the outside. So, Drom, do you want to be a spellcaster, or do you want to be a fighter for I this? I very much want to be a spellcaster. <laughs> All right. All right, so Drom's Because does have some spells, but she's really, she's, she's a fighter. Like, pretty much through and through. So, Drom's going to stay outside. Hmm. All right. Pen, going in first. Ostrid, uh... Lily shows you how the door works, because okay. Jonesy had shown her. All right, so you guys are going to go inside, and Tom stays outside? Yeah, and... Um, Ostrid. Ostrid. Before, yeah. Now, is there a little bit of room before the ruins start, or does it start, like, immediately? Uh, give, me, give me another perception check as you're, as you're, like, looking in here with your... And are you using any light other than... Other than your dark vision? Oh, I don't have dark vision. We probably have light. We probably have cast little a little dancing cantrum. little dancing lights. Draw. Little dancing lights, yep. I have All dark right. vision, so I'm just sitting here. Have we found the handle that opens the door from the outside? Or we're just assuming there's one? No, no I you just found it. How to open the door should it close. I was sorry, I was doing something else. No, you're good. Is the door handle covered in bugs? And you have to reach through all the bugs to pull it? Ooh, Indy! <laughs> Not that? this one! The other one! The other right! <laughs> Your other right! Um, okay, so you asked for just perception? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, John presumably sends a dancing light in there, one or two. Dirty 20. Yeah, so there's this two sort of standing on the back. There's these two uh, skeletons. And they're sort of standing maybe about three or four feet apart. Uh, there are pedestals to either side of them that are now empty. And larger pedestals than outside. So whatever animals were on there. And I actually, I think Jonesy mentioned they, those were the horses. And so you're separated right now by this, 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 this line here will be where the door is. Okay. Um, uh, but the runes are covering the entire floor. The entire floor is covered in runes. You'd be hard pressed to, maybe if Not you were like, so. on point, as they say. No, no, no. 
Now, or if you're floating, if you could float. Right, because we have, I mean, somebody has the levitation candy or levitation drink that you're like two feet off the ground or something like that. Not or me. It's not me. It's whatever height you're at, you stay at. My hand can float. No, no, no. <laughs> it was it was one of the drinks that we got Amazing. in Wesleyville. Mm -hmm. But I don't think any of us have it. I think that's an Agnes thing. Oh, so there we are. Agnes is the one who collects all the drinks. Um, so can I look at the ruins to see how many variations there are? Uh, sure. The, yeah, so you, you sort of inspect the runes that you can see. And, um, I mean, there, there's there's probably a dozen or so different different ones. Okay, so, but they do repeat. They do. They do repeat. Yeah. Um, and does it seem to be that the arrangement is fairly random? Like, it's not um, like... Row that repeats over and over again that's just shifted left or right? Give me an arcana check. Arc. We're not in the room yet, right? No. You no, know, you're looking through <laughs> sort of the the, the door the door opens toward you guys, toward the cave. Uh there are some patterns. So you can see that the uh the sequence of runes um, doesn't seem to care about the two pedestals, although you do see the same archway uh, above with the steel or iron brazier in the center uh, that you saw on the pedestals leading up to this point. Uh, the runes on the floor do seem to converge around the uh, bases of the skeletons. Okay. Can I cast Mage Hand and then smack one of the skeletons? Sure. All you right. Want to do, what do you, you, you want to do that? Yes. Actually, I want to slap both. You want to slap them? Yes. Like, like, like push like them just, over? I just want to, just slap. want to slap them with my, my Mage Hand. Yeah, you slap some skeletons. And nothing happens? Nope. I also slap Sir Pen, but it's <laughs> invisible, so he doesn't know it was me. <laughs> uh, Sir Pen, you just got slapped. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hear Vinny laugh? Does I Vinny laugh? I kept a very straight face. Ooh, like, give me give me a performance check to see if you did that. Oh man, okay. <laughs> or deception, I guess your choice. I forgot how to click my things. Because that's weird. <laughs> They're not buttons. Uh, oh, you... Technical difficulties. Okay, here we are. They're not buttons. For some reason, he... I'm not in... Uh, I, I'm looking at my sheet as if it was someone else's sheet. So. Oh, go to go to collections. Got it. Click my characters. Mm, there we are. And then... Drone, when you cast Dancing Light, did you need to no, roll? More. It should be buttons. Do I need to like... roll? Since you cast the spell, or is that no? That's only spell slots, right? I believe so. Yeah, I think that's right. It's also it's a cantrip that I need to like continually recast every few minutes. So, I should dancing really lights is. Wild. Say again. Dancing lights is. Yeah, it doesn't last long. Oh wow! Huh. One minute. I need can to. Can like, we continually... can we light the brazier? If you want. I mean, it was. Possibly the horses, maybe it'll be the skeletons, but like you Lily's like, fought skeletons before, so there's one right above you guys too. At the, at the, uh, you know, on, on your side of the door, there is also one above you. Okay, let's light it. What do you light it with? Um, I light it with a firebolt. All right, it lights up. Now you've got nice. A you cantrip. Got, you've got nice I fire. Any spell slots. Nice firelight above you. Brings some nice warmth to the otherwise chill air. 
All right. Um, <clears throat> can we try to use another fire bolt for uh, for the one inside? Sure. Boom. <laughs> Lights up. All right. Do I notice if anything is now different other than it is now lit? No. Everything's, everything seems the same, just lit by a nice warm glow. All right. Okay. Um, right. So does anyone recognize any of these ruins? Uh, Drom? Wait, am I with you guys? Well, yeah, you're. We're all standing right outside the door right no now. No one's got inside yet. <laughs> I, don't I don't recognize them. No. Eh. All uh, right. I, I, it just sort of looks like scribbles. Okay, so Lily's gonna study the the ruins that are on the archway. Okay. And I think she's going to try to only step on ruins that match the ones on the archway. Okay. Um, all right. So as so you step you step through the open doorway, uh, and you like you sort of do a little hop onto one that you think is good, uh, and as soon as you touch it, it sort of flares, and the the flaring uh, sort of blue arcane light goes across the whole floor, and the door starts to shut. Uh oh. All right. Is anyone going through before it shuts? Uh, I'm going through. <sighs> okay. Then he jumps in and the door shuts. <sighs> oh boy. All right. So Sir Pen and Drom are now on the outside. Um, Drom, you're like, you know, I think I did know one of those. Aunt Burma taught me it yesterday. But that's all you got. <laughs> oh. hmm. This is what you're thinking as you're now cut off by from your friends. Uh, All right. Well, I guess it doesn't matter which ones we step on now, does it? Yeah. No. They're all they're all sl sl uh, slightly glowing with a blue light, eerie eerie blue light. But the brazier is still lit. So. Well, I could just fireball that again or fire bolt. No. That it's, again. Yeah. No. It's it's still it is still lit. All right. So then. You said that the blue light seemed to go across. Did it go forward? From the one that you stepped on, it spread across the whole floor. Both, all directions. In all directions. Okay. So it was like a wave emanating outward. Okay. Yeah. Um, You're just hanging out in there now. Okay. Well, then there's no reason why we shouldn't start exploring to see if there are any um, tablets about or a place where a tablet could be hidden or could have been placed at one point. Sure. Uh, are, is one of you proficient in investigation? Um, I am. Okay, then right, so you can investigate it up. Investigating. And if, well, yeah, if, or, or, or Lily, yeah. Uh, if both of you are proficient, then you could roll with advantage if uh, well, Vinny Well, I rolled a 19 and he rolled a 10. All right, let's go with Lily's. You said an 18? Yeah. All right, so you're inspecting these pedestals. You're inspecting the skeletons. You're inspecting the floor and the walls. Uh, you do notice that there was something very large, or fairly large, maybe like four <coughs> feet by four feet by a foot and a half, or by two feet, that was dragged away uh, on the ground from between the two skeletons, sort of rectangular in shape. And while you're looking at the scrape marks on the floor that seem very fresh, you realize that the wall in between the two skeletons has what kind of makes you feel like it's a seam or something. You're not mm -hmm. quite sure, but there's something funky with the wall between the two skeletons. Okay. Uh, it's not that the wall is closing in on us. Like, can no, we the tell? Walls, the walls are not moving. Okay. Because this just went from one... <laughs> So nothing now, to do with Indiana Jones. Okay. All right. Just, you know, sometimes people are influenced by the movies that they watch. I know I'd be. 
Um, so can I go to feel if there's a draft? Oh, from- no draft that you can perceive, no. Okay. Um, Vinny, any ideas? Uh, sorry, so I was messing with stuff here. So, okay, there's three of us. Let me just see if I can sum this up. There's three of us in there, right? There's nope. two of us in there. Who's yeah. in the room? You and me. Yeah, okay. You, yeah, yeah. And, and two skeletons. Well, and well many, armored and holding spear skeletons. How many of the tiles have you stepped on? I stepped on one and the door closed. Now we could step on all of them because the door is already closed. Okay, so it doesn't matter, right? All right. Yeah. I lay down and roll across the floor. Okay. So um, of- yeah, as you, uh, you sort of roll across the floor, uh, I mean, it's definitely dusty. Um, and as you bump sort of into the, uh, yeah, Lily, Lily's looking at the wall. You roll across the floor and you, you bump into this, uh, pedestal where presumably Jonesy had said there was a horse. And when you do so, a spider jumps out and lands on you and it's about the size of your chest. It's a very large spider. Oh, this is nasty. All right. I cast Mage Hand and, and shoot it away. All right. The spider, uh, scampers and Lily, you see a uh run to the left of where you are you're like looking at the door and you're like or you're looking at the wall and you're like there's something up with this wall and you look to your left and you see this large spider sort of climb up and then it squeezes its bulbous body between this cleft at the top and disappears Ooh. into the wall all right it's- Vinny. You're pretty good with uh, acrobatics. I mean, I'm okay with acrobatics. I'm plus seven, but you're plus nine. Shall we try to... Uh... I do a backflip to prove how good I am. That's wonderful. Should we try to maybe climb this wall? Like, you could give me a boost, or I can give you a boost. You don't look like you're that heavy. I start climbing the wall. How dare you? My weight is sensitive. All right. I start climbing the wall. It's pretty... I mean, give me an athletics check. Oh. Sweat. Oh, athletics. Oh, oh my <laughs> athletics is be better. Be Maybe I should be doing this. No way. A six. <laughs> yeah, there's not real. Like you could. Well, do you want to? Do you want to put your feet on the skeleton and like use that as a foothold? And a, you know. Well, I was just going to ask Vinny to give me a little boost, <laughs> I climbed and the skeleton. I would try to like grab onto the I, little leg. I climb the top of the skeleton and prepare to jump from the top. All right, you climb up the skeleton as Lily watches in horror. And this, the you. skeleton holds. Everything's fine, surprisingly. I'm not that heavy. <laughs> uh, you are now up at the height of where the spider went through the wall, and you can sort of see that it went through uh, a sort of a uniform gap across the top of the section of wall in between the two skeletons. What do your elf eyes see? A small gap. <laughs> is it is it large enough for you to fit in? I don't think so. Yeah, it's like I don't know, four inches high. Can but, you use uh, the main hand to maybe pick out anything that might be in there? Can uh, you see anything? So is this on the scene that we think it might be a scene? This seems more like from what Lily is sort of, you know, I don't know. She probably called out something about the weird wall as you were climbing. And you are now looking at this. This seems like some kind of air gap over a door. Like this is a way to let air into perhaps a chamber behind the wall or in the wall. So in my adventuring gear bag, I have a crowbar. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're standing on a skeleton. Yep. Pull out a crowbar. You, know, you could try opening the door at any time. I'm going to pull that out and <laughs> uh, try prying some of the blocks away. All right. While you're doing that, yeah, Drum and Serpent, you guys have been outside. It's been a few minutes. You can't hear anything from inside. You're just sort of standing underneath the softly flickering light of the brazier, um, just hanging out with Ostrid. And what do you guys want to do? Do you, do you hear anything, Serpent? No, I, I don't. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're dead. (laughs) 
what do you think? Give him another minute. Yeah. Then we leave. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely hear Steven. Oh, sorry. Uh, we'll give them another minute and then. Yeah, we'll yeah. Leave. That sounds good. <laughs> you guys are dead. All right. Meanwhile, back inside the crowbar. Um, give me an athletics check again, because you're on top of a skeleton trying to wedge a crowbar into an ancient construct of wall and door. No problem. You are going to be surprised at this. Eleven. Eleven. Um. Nothing seems to be budging. Um, if anything, you're like, oh, maybe, maybe this thing goes down here a little, but you're like, you, you, you're sort of just chipping at stone. It's not really like moving anything per se. I look over at Lily. Well, like, we live damn. here now. <laughs> well, I happen to have the meteorite stone. If we don't drop it out of the bag, if we place it out of the bag, will it will it just melt the material, or could it still bring down a meteor? I think it either explodes and kills us both, or it melts <laughs> to the floor. Right, well, it's a 50-50 chance, but that's if it's, like, dropped. But if you place it, is that different? Like, the beans, if you chuck the bag of beans it does an explosion. If you place the bean, then it's got that weird chance of bringing about chaos. Uh, I don't know. I think we could have found a better place to experiment with. All right, well, we're not going to use the mirror <laughs> stone then. Okay. Are we pulling all our weird stuff out now? Because in my bag, I have a crossbow of human bones. Oh, you have a cola jumper. Yes, I have a cola jumper. That's not going to help because we're not in a big room. Forest underwear. Well, you don't have forest underwear. <laughs> uh, twice, twice I grabbed forest. Oh, underwear. oh yeah. yes, Twizzard has it, and you have it. All my characters have. <laughs> I forgot about that. All my characters. <laughs> have it from South Gorse and mm -hmm. Forest. Amazing. Um, can I message? Do you have to have line of sight to message? Uh, you can cast the spell through solid objects if you are familiar with the target and know it is beyond the barrier. Go for Final it. Silence, one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood block the spell. One spell foot of stone? Have to follow a straight line and can travel freely around corners through openings, so I guess it depends on the door. <clears throat> you could try to message him. I'm going to try to message Vinny. Okay, what do you say? Uh, I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> Vidi, you you hear I'm bored in your head. Sounds All like right. so. I think I'm getting a message. He's not using good grammar at all, but it, I think he found a piece of wood. So I don't know how that helps us. All right, so I message Sir Pen. No. And you have message? Yeah, because I have message. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> So I message her because I don't understand what Drom's saying. So I message her pen and I say, <coughs> Is Drom playing with a piece of wood? <laughs> Sir Pen, you hear this in your head. It's clearly from Vinny. Um, Drom, what's, uh, what's that you're over there playing with? Uh, no, this is nothing. I was, um, I was just messaging. I was trying to message, uh, Vinny to see if he was uh, still alive. Yeah, I just heard from him. He said you're uh, playing with some wood. Is that? Is that what's in your pocket over there? <laughs> I feel like that may be just like a bizarre rogue expression. Okay, forget it. Well, Vinny's on the other side. He has concerns about you. Maybe we should get in there. All right. Uh, I guess I messaged Vinny. We're coming in to help. No, one person has said. All right. Uh, I messaged back. Good luck. It's, <laughs> we can't get out. I think we're stuck. Bring that wood. That gives drone pause. 
Um, who's, the, who's that too? Is that to drum? That's the drum, yeah. I don't think you heard that. So they say that they're stuck. So I guess we'll open the door and see what happens. How do we open the door? Well, we can Lily, pry it with some wood. No, yeah, Lily, wood. Lily taught you. All right, yeah, so yeah. You, you open up the door. Bug handles. You see Vinny standing on a skeleton and Lily looking concerned up at him. Uh, the, the, yeah, the door the door makes some noise when it opens, so you guys inside know that they just opened the door. Uh, hey guys, you guys good? Yeah. Well, well, one of you has to stay out there because the door will most likely close again and we need for you to open it. But there's something weird about this wall. So if one of you wants to come in and help, but one of you should stay out here. Who can smash down a wall? I caps her pen in. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? I just sort of give him a shove on the back. Just... <laughs> and as he trips and tumbles in, the door closes. Yep, the room, the, oh, room, guys. the rooms flare again when the door. Oh. Hey, we're oh. Hey, uh, drummers threw me in here. <laughs> Welcome. This is your new home. Just so you know, it's the three of us plus a spider. There might be a bat in here, too. We don't know where the spider went. It's in the wall. We're trying to get through it. We think that there's another room behind here. So if you've got a way to get through a wall... Should I talk to the spider? Oh, yeah, you could do that. All right, let's see if he comes back out. Oh, good thing we didn't kill him. Yeah. Don't tell him that. Okay. <coughs> Hopefully he counts as an animal. Right. Yeah, he's a beast. I can talk to a beast. All right, so you cuss speak of the animals? Well, I guess only when he comes back out, right? Oh, but I don't know. You could probably call to him. Okay. All right, I will cast Speak with Animals. All right. What do you want to say? Hey, little spider friend. Um, we're curious. Is there another place for us to go in this area? Um, Vinny, you hear uh, a scrabbling, and a spider pokes its head out and jumps oh. down Jumps down onto Lily's head. Yeah. Uh, Lily, what do you do? Well, I am dying a little inside, but I know that that Sir Pen is talking to the spider, so I'm doing my best to just stay as calm as possible. It puts Come here, little spider guy. It puts its little furry feet into your hair, so it gets a good purchase on your head, and it says, "Ah, uh, yeah, no, they're they're hey, how's it going?" Good man. Um, we're curious. You know, you're you're kind of getting in some other room. Is there a way for us to get there? Oh yeah, that that's that's uh, yeah, we're hanging out in there. You can come in. Who's we? <laughs> oh, uh, my my friend, my the other spider. Okay, could we fit? Oh yeah, no, it's a big room, big big room. You guys, you want to go in that room? Yeah. Well, you guys might be able to misty step in there. Oh, but how do we get out? You misty step out. I can do only once. like Once per short rest? No, I guess it's a spell slot, right? Yeah, it's a spell slot. I have three misty I steps. think if you took the feet, then you can use it once per short rest without using a spell slot. But otherwise, you can still use it as a spell slot. What if we misty step into a room, a sea of spiders? Well, he he could have mistranslated. I I clearly heard a we, my friend. I mean, maybe spiders don't really use like plurals. I don't know, not the way we do. All right, who's Misty Steppen? I can't. I don't have Misty Steppen. Well, I I, I trust the spider. He's pretty nice. Yeah, we we came in here to escape the bats. Oh, are there bats in your room? Nope, nope. The bats are all out on the other side of that door. Okay. 
ancient bats. We're we're old. And there's no way for us to get in that room, right? Like slide in, we have to miss a step. You get over the That's cool. We we go through the small hole. Oh yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna misty step my way in there. Spider jumps onto the skeleton. Much to Lily's relief. Alright, so you're gonna misty step in? Yeah. Alright. Whoa. Push this over here. Maybe. All right, you are standing, you find yourself standing in a large room. That's like maybe 35 by 50 feet or so. Um, do you have night vision? Dark vision? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no light in here. Um, you see, yeah, if, 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 yeah, with dark vision, you could see that there is a large something, maybe like five feet by 10 feet, um, in front of you, about 20, 25 feet away. Not really sure what it is. You're just sort of seeing shades of gray. And um, Vinny and thanks. Lily, you see Serpent disappear. What do you see in there? You can hear Lily. It's uh, pretty dark, but I, I see it's a pretty big room. Um, I think there's plenty of room for us in here. I see something. Can't figure out what exactly. I guess there would Are be there a little any... light coming through the air vents. So you see a little bit of the firelight from the other room. But any fire. braziers in there? <coughs> any what? Braziers? Braziers. What's that again? Uh, torches. Oh. Oh, yeah, there, there, uh, there are some. You look, you can, you can sort of discern some in the in the little bit of the yeah, yeah, there firelight. is. I There's can, some uh, along the walls. Yeah, you know what? I'm a. I can use my um, firebolt to turn them on, or okay. uh, enable them. Are you are you going up to them, or are you staying where you are? I can do it from a distance. All right. So you you think you see a torch on the wall, and you, and. Yep, and now you can see there's there's three torches on each wall. Uh, you fire both away. Psh, psh, psh. They light up. Now the room's all lit up. Uh, you look yeah. behind you, uh, and there's a door. It's very clearly a door, and there's very clearly a handle. Yeah. Hey, guys, I found a door. <laughs> hey. Okay, open it and see where it goes. We'll do. Yeah, no, it, it's it. The uh, so Lily, you're standing in front of the wall, and the wall starts to open toward you. Uh, now you're you're the, the rooms are connected. You, you all right? We can now go through the big hole. I knew it. I knew there was a door. Then he jumps down. All right, all right, you guys are now in the big room. I messaged Drom. Hey, you want to come in? There's a, a well, big room we found. No, no, just because there's a big room doesn't mean that there's a way of exiting. We still have... Is is Astrid going to be able to open the door for us? Yeah. He's got his owly claws. So I guess my question is, uh, did Vinny send that or not? Yes, I did. Okay, so Drom opens the door. Okay. And calls out, hey... How you guys doing? Do you do you want another hand? You you can you can see straight through. There's now the, the the wall between the two skeletons is open, and you see you see the back of Lily in the next room. You guys want another hand? I mean, here's the thing: as long as someone can misty step through that closed door and open it for me, because I can't misty step, then I'm fine with everyone being in here and us being stuck. We'll just prop the door. Where's that? Where's that wood you had? Uh, <laughs> I left it back out. Wait, did I have? It must have been out there. <laughs> oh my god! Are there, uh, no, there are no big rocks. Why don't we do this? 
and I cast my echo, <coughs> and oh. I'll leave my echo outside the door. Okay, yeah, that works. All right, you walk in too. As soon as you walk on the runes, they flare again when the door closes. I feel like you could have maybe just, you know, well. Okay, so the echo is out there. Can the echo actually do any... I can swap like, places with touching? it. Oh, you could swap places, right, okay. Uh, Sir Pen, you notice that there's now two fat skeletons, or fat, not fat, but like two larger spiders sort of walking up and they're like, yeah, yeah, hey, see, told you, it's a big room. Yeah, now, thanks, spider. Now it's really bright. Yeah, it's really nice in here. Thank you. Um, as is you there got any... It... Oh, oh. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say, is there any other way out of here? Oh, um... No, uh, there is some, uh, some bugs come from some holes in the ceiling, uh, over in the back corners. Hmm. Okay. I message Vinny and say, what did you get me into? Oh, um, Sir Pen is talking to some spiders. That's how we found this room. It's actually extremely useful. <laughs> this. Okay. Don't step on them. Okay. Uh, as you guys look around the room, you notice that the walls are covered in a sort of decorative, like a like a like a not not a painted mural, but like a carved mural. Um, uh, there's sort of. Uh, they're depicting what you can see you sort of spread out a little bit and you're you're looking at the walls uh, and there are these these great battles um, and in all of the depictions uh, there's always these two sort of central figures uh, many of them uh, also depict beasts of different kinds uh, you notice on one wall uh, the two figures are fighting what looks like multiple remoras uh, which you sort of recognize, although, you know, sort of carved into the stone. But it's, uh, you know, um, you re you recognize that beast with the many legs, of course. Um, yeah, there's sort of uh, just a lot of, a lot of different stories or, or, or important events depicted on the walls of the chamber. Um, one of the things that you notice uh, as you sort of, you know, you look at the walls, you're a little tentative at first to walk into the room, maybe. Um, but the thing that Sir Penn saw in the center over here is a large tomb or sarcophagus. And the top of it is slid most of the way off, sort of almost teetering on the edge. Um, if you want to go investigate that, you can, but... It is open. Yes. Let's go take a look. All right. Uh, Vinny, you walk over and um, you sort of look. And again, the, the, the it's top, it's cover, it's lid. It's lid. That's the word I'm looking for. The sarcophagus is lid is almost pushed off entirely. And you see inside um, a skeleton. Uh, with armor and a helm of what looks like a silverish metal um, and uh, their arms the arm of the skeleton the arms of the skeletons are sort of crossed and held in one oh no I'm sorry one arm is crossed across the chest the other arm is loose next to the skeleton in the sarcophagus uh, the one that's still there is holding in ornately crafted horn and the one that's just sort of it looks like it's been wrenched from its socket and it's just in the sarcophagus next to it the horn um can i pick it up and look at it yeah you sure can you does pick it up look like a lifting horn or a noise making horn it looks like a nose making horn and it has depictions of beasts of all kinds uh, 
you know, carved on it and around it. All right. You know, someone stole my sneak horn. I'm very eager to try this just to see what it's like. So I'm going to blow it. Okay. Okay. So you, you, uh, so, uh, okay. Um, all right. So drone's probably in the room by now. Maybe he's looking over here. Sir Penn's looking over here. Lily's here. And, um, Vinny, you pick up this horn and you blow it. You blow the horn. I go, Hey guys, look at, look what I found. I blow it. Okay. Okay. Oh, he blew it. All right. Um, could you roll a D four for me? Yeah. A four. A the four. Best. A four. Okay. Could you? Could you roll a D six for me? I could. I will. A six, the best roll. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I'm sorry. Could you actually one? Let's see. Well, no, fuck it. We'll just do this. This is hilarious. Uh, so you blow this horn in this enclosed room made of stone. The sound just reverberates and is. Ah, it's almost overwhelming. Um, and after you're done, you see uh, eight, eight, eight large badgers appear, uh, each of them faintly glowing. Uh, and they look toward you. Uh, as if they're expecting a command. Looks like you got yourself an army of badgers. Badgers, 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 mushrooms, mushrooms. Uh, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> so the wait, these badgers are under my control right now. Yep, you got you've got eight badgers. That's a lot of badgers. All right, so I tell them, form a badger table and carry me around on it. Form a badger table. Yeah, like make a badger platform. Uh, okay. The badgers. I will lay on it and I will get badgered around the room. Okay, this is what happens. Totally normal. <laughs> and I go, hey guys, look, look. I mean, they're definitely looking because you just blew a really loud horn in a confined space. Uh, I feel like Lily is face palming at this point. I feel like Drome is saying, this seems like it could be useful, but not how you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I badger my way over to Drom and I say, would you like to try it? Yeah, yes. the, the the badgers, the spiders get the heck out of the way. And the badgers come over to draw them. Vinny, you sort of like half roll, half try to stand up. You get off of them. Drum, Healthy are you, badgers. Are you going to lie down? They're all like sniffing and like snuffling. And... Oh, they're so helpful. Drum, would you like to try it? Uh, yeah, but uh, yes. Okay. okay. What, what do I What do I do? Just blow it. Wait, wait. Wait, I thought you were getting on the badgers. I thought he was getting a ride on the badger table. Oh, I thought he wanted to blow it himself. Yes. Oh, have a lay down on the badger table. Because doesn't oh. he have your vuvuzilla? He does. I so do. why would you want to give him yet another horn? Well, I was because just... I'm really good at the vuvuzilla. So like, Lord knows how good I might be at badgers. <laughs> Uh, you lie down. I mean, these are these are big badgers. Like these are these are large, almost giant. Some would say giant badgers. Hmm. Could can they like can it be something other than a table, Vinny? Like can they could they like form a tower and like lift me up? Ooh, or like a chair? You would have yeah. 
Like a tall chair. Okay, badgers form a tall chair. So you, you want you want the badgers to stand on each other's backs and form a tall chair. Yes. Give me an animal handling check for that. Table oh. table's one thing. Uh oh. Oh oh sixteen. Sixteen. The the drum sort of rolls and their 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 furry bodies sort of part as you roll off and they do their best uh to assemble themselves. Uh, there's now there's eight of them, so two in the front, two in the back. They sort of they did sort of, you know. There's now like there, there's a there's a I would call it a, a more of a heap of badgers, perhaps than than a defined chair. <laughs> um, but there's definitely a, yeah there's a heap of badgers you could climb on top of if you wanted. Done. Jeez. What's that? You you do it? Yeah. All right. Give me give me an acrobatics check as you try to find footholds for this. How tall? Are you like a seven foot tall Goliath trying to climb a <laughs> trying to climb a heap of giant badgers. Biggest party member. Well, what is it? Twelve. Twelve. It's not great, but you're <laughs> definitely off the ground. Like you are supported by badgers. Badgers bring this man wherever he wants to go. Uh, North Gorson? <laughs> the badgers just look at you. The ones that can crane their <laughs> necks to, to sort of look up at you. Which badger has the map? No. Well, he, just here is fine. Yeah, they just start to meander around the room with you. All right. All right, well, while all that craziness is going on, Lily is going to also take a look uh, in the coffin, sarcophagus. So okay. Yeah, you are... You are... There, there's something weird. It definitely, like... Clearly, this was someone important. They were put in this big room with a bunch of these, like, you know, frez, frezes? I don't know, raised carvings of... Great Press deeds, me. presumably, uh, that this person was involved in. And yet, here they are. Uh, their sarcophagus has been opened. One of their arms has been dislocated from the rest of the skeleton. Uh, it's very odd. Can I look at the... Is the lid anywhere nearby? Yeah, I know. It's still sort of balanced on the edge. Can I see if I could read who this person is? was yeah what languages do you read again uh, i can do common dwarvish halfling dwarvish. and dwarven. dwarvish sold uh so you see in dwarven 1343 to 1752 thor dugnar brother in arms of torin friend to beasts long life yeah, I think this guy here had uh, was a keeper keeper of the tablet at some point, and then it was literally wrenched away from him mm. in death. This tomb has been robbed. Yeah, but they didn't take the most valuable thing. We have it. Well, they hold the badger horn. Well, here's the thing. Whoever came in here and took the tablet, how did they get out? I mean, maybe they could miss a step. Maybe. I mean, if there's thought that the that Snowcrest has the tablet, did Snowcrest come in here and take it? The dragon? Yeah. Dragons can't miss a step. They can do other things, I'm sure. Hmm. I mean, look at the black dragon that we had to fight. We didn't fight a black dragon. Oh, we dragon. didn't fight a black dragon. I don't know. I look at oh. Lily like she's crazy. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yes. No. Uh, we, know, we know that the, that the black dragon was fought, though. Because Lily keeps in touch with Agnes, and that would have already have happened, right? Oh, the Twilight yes. Bar. 
Yeah, all right, so. All right, well, it appears that the tablet is not here, but I still want to look around. Maybe yeah. there's clues to where it went or who took it. I asked the badgers to find the tablet. The badgers don't know what to do. Oh, I mean, uh, they're, Sir they're... Penn, can you ask the spiders if they know who took the tablet? Hey, spiders, you guys know who took the tablet. What's a, what's a tablet? It's like a... Kind of like a big square, maybe rectangle thing that has letters on it. I don't know if you know what letters are. No one's been here since the cat person and the short folk. Cat person? But, um... Sorry. And, and what was the other one? The short what? Uh, the cat person was, was with some short folk. Oh. Uh, okay, guys. You think of Wimble Cat here? Wimble Cat. Mm. Different cat person, but... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Lily. Okay, well, the, the spiders told me that's a cat person and short folks. I'm assuming dwarves took the tablet or haven't been have been here, or are the last ones to have been here. So maybe they took the tablet. Cat burglar. Well, that would have been Leafly, the Tabaxi, and the dwarves that we came with, which was more recent. Did they come into this room? Uh, I don't know. Sir Pen relays the question, and the spiders say. Nope, they did not. They were only in the outer rooms. We we ran in here mm. to get away from the bats. So are you as ancient as, or well, Sir Pang, can you ask the spiders if they are as ancient as like the bats they're running away from? I a message. We. Hard to, hard to say if we're, we, we, we were brought here to this cave, um, along with a body and a lot of short folk. And then some guy with a stick did something. Uh, while we were, right after we were placed on pedestals. And then the cat person was there and we ran away. <coughs> right after they were placed on pedestals. Yeah. Yeah, the other spider pipes up. Yeah, it was not great. Um, it was kind of scary. They caught us in the forest. Um, I actually came to try to... They caught him first, and I came. And But they caught both of us. They put us on some pedestals. And the guy waved his stick. And then the cat person was there. All the other short folk... Actually, it was different short folk. It's very strange. Very strange. And the place was a lot... Um, like, it was full of uh, very fancy short folk. Um, and then, you know, like, gleaming, shiny short folk. And then the cat person was there, and there was only a few short folk, and they looked very dirty. We can't actually hear those. Well, I'm assuming Sir Penn's relaying it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Huh, okay. Well, we got... We have no tablet. Maybe... It's been the, gone for a while. I mean, but... did, did we check all of the, the tomb? Maybe he, like, put it in his back pocket when he was buried. No. It's been to it's been taken. Okay. It's been ripped out of this guy's arm. Is there anything else in the tomb? Did we search it? Uh, you can look around at the wall some more if you want. Oh, yes. Can we investigate the walls? Yeah, yeah, you, you sort of, you, you, yeah, while, while Drum rides around on 
uh, fey badgers. Um, you guys look around a little more, uh, and you do, in general, you get the idea that this guy Thor, um, who, you know, brother at arms with Torin, of course, the namesake of this country that you're now in, um, are probably the two figures depicted in most of these epic events. And um, one of them is depicted, uh, one of them depicts them with a host of other dwarves uh, fighting what looks to be a young dragon. Mm -hmm. And on that, uh, on that carving, um, where they would normally be the center, sort of center and like, you know, leading the fight, uh, you, you can see sort of rudimentary, like they've been like scratched out. The two central figures are scratched out. Oh, mm. well, I think Lily feels bad about doing this, but she's going to remove the helm. All right. Easily done. It is a almost in, in, in the light of the torches, it uh, sort of glimmers. Um, um, very, very finely wrought. Uh, not really like for battle. This is like for burial. Um, but it is very intricate, very finely wrought. And apparently, you know, almost a thousand years old. Or no, over a thousand years old. Because you're in 20, no, you're in 2700. So almost a thousand years old. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about taking this. Belongs in a museum. And it's... <laughs> I mean, it's clearly, it's not what this guy wore in battle, because I could probably compare it to whatever he's wearing in the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know, no, it's not. It's not what he wore in battle. Does it, does it fit? I put it on. Uh, does it fit your head? It feels like your head's a little smaller, yeah. This guy probably had a, you know, he's... He's a dwarf, but he got a, a beefy, beefy head. Now, would a helm like this be considered heavy armor, medium armor, light armor? At least it's a burial. I know, but I'm just curious if, if Mr. Twizzard could get any benefit by having <laughs> some kind of armor. You're lucky he wears pants. He has no armor and oh. never will. It doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't seem like it would provide much protection for the head. So it's just for looks. It seems to be just for looks. Yeah, I'm sure that it would be worth money, but I feel bad about taking some possible, not so much an heirloom, but just something that was left with this guy. I don't know. I I feel bad about taking it. So after inspecting it, I will put it back. Okay. All right, the spiders sort of go back into their webs after a while. This sort of... This is a cool room. Is there another? Can we... Can I look at the central figures that are scratched out? In that one? Yeah, yeah. It, it seems to be the two dwarves. That are scratched out? Yep. So, I could... I can tell that it's the two brother dwarves. That's not a problem. Like, it's not so scratched out that you couldn't tell that. Correct. Okay. Yeah, it's like, this is them fighting a young dragon, presumably winning, but mm -hmm. at some point after it was carved, someone has defaced it. All right. So Lily's going to take out her uh, drawing equipment, and she's going to sketch a rough design of what she's seeing here. Sure, I mean, you, you could even take a rubbing if you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll rub fun. it. Yeah. Awesome. There it is. Do you need help with that? No. Badgers, assist her. Uh, Drum, you're dropped as a, as a bunch of badgers rush over behind Lily. 
and start I feel like Lily would right probably in. just do what like the kids do when they're surrounded by puppies and just like fall on the floor and allow the badgers to like just like crawl all over and lick their face and... yeah yeah that that makes sense it's pretty <laughs> awesome bunch of fey badgers can i talk to them in sylvan can you talk to them in sylvan is that the fey language yes um uh, that's a sylvan. good question because when i went to the fey realm i you took a course in sylvan i I kind of was just, I guess, not Faye touched, but I just started to kind of think and 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 speak in that language. Uh, no, they don't really. They're not like. They don't they're really. Not, they? Yeah, they don't really understand what you're saying, but they're not like. Oh. Yeah. I'm just curious. Because the only thing better than animals are. Are fey animals. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're this, done here. This was a good room. Do sure. we want to at least try to see if those skeletons come to life? Anyone want to take their stuff? They've got armor. They They've got armor. Kind of armor. They've got armor and spears. Oh, they're just bones. I mean, I don't need any armor or spears. Does anyone need anything? Yeah, I've got heavy armor, or medium armor. What do I got? I can do heavy, light, and medium armor. I have no clue what, what do I wear? What am I wearing? I'm probably wearing medium. I think I might have chain mail. I'm pretty sure I have leather. Well, right, because you want your stealth and dexterity. Alright. Oh, I'm wearing breastplate, medium armor. All right, so I'm going to head out to the rune room. Okay. You're in the rune room. All right. I guess uh, I, I can misty step through the wall and then the, open the bar. The badgers follow you. Uh, oh, you, mis you misty step through the wall. Ooh, can the badgers carry us across the ruins? <laughs> We're gonna... I don't know if they're fake. <clears throat> Are they going to set off the ruins? Uh, when the badgers walk on the ruins, they don't seem to light up. Hmm. I'm going to ride a badger out of there. All right. You ride a badger. You it's can little... ride on one badger? Well, I, yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, badgers are fairly large to begin the, with. Yeah, this is a giant badger. Giant badgers, yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know. Giant badger doesn't, still doesn't seem rideable for an adult. <laughs> No, well, I mean, it a giant love it. owl is bigger than a person. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know if their spines are correct for riding. Isn't it like certain animals have better for riding? Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Vinny, Vinny Misty Steps, Ost Ostrid's out there, the Echo's out there, you open up the door, and, uh... And the, you and the badgers can all exit into the cave if you'd so like to. <laughs> yeah, I need to be out of this room. It was a good room. We found a lot of good stuff. No, we didn't. You found something cool. That was it. And then we found information that the tablet's not there, and it probably is with Snowcrest. Oh. We can all share the badgers. I'm sure the badgers are only going to last for a certain amount of time before they disappear. Don't worry. I'll blow the horn again immediately. <laughs> if I just keep blowing it, will it just make more and more badgers? You want to try to blow it again? Yes. Uh, you blow in it, and this time, instead of the sort of the epic sound it made before, wah, it, wah, it's wah. just... <laughs> you get... Like a... <laughs> It's just like like a little bit of a, little bit of a, and you're like that's weird. Thing used to work great. Now it sucks. Right. Well, at least you didn't have to attune to it. Maybe I do. Maybe if I had attuned, it'd make something better than badgers. <laughs> but badgers still good. I mean, we got to move around the room like royalty. 
All right. Um, okay, so I guess we go back outside. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you go back outside. The badgers are with you. All right, uh, so that's one cave down with no tablet in it. We're doing good. Do you want to head... Do you want to head back to Burma's and Bunkles? Yeah, probably. Let's get that dragon. Well, yes, but don't you think that we need to find out where the dragon is before we just start wandering around the wild? We have giant badgers that will obey our command. We're ready. They didn't know where where Snowcrest was when you told them to take us to the tablet. They're confused because so. they're in a dark, dusty, magic room with no way out. Badgers, find the dragon. Uh, the badgers, the badgers sort of split up and go off into the wilderness. Uh, badgers, wait, come back. Oh, badgers, come back. All right. See, they were gonna find they were gonna find all the dragons, and we didn't need that, so we'll just have them stay with us. Ostrid is like sniffing one of the fey badgers. Just doesn't seem to trust it. All right. Uh, all right. We, I guess we're going back. You guys start to head back. Everyone uh, on a badger. After about an hour since you first blew the horn, the badgers dissipate. Oh. You might be able to bring them back tomorrow. I'm sure Dawn has a special effect. Horn, yeah, magical items love, love Dawn. <laughs> Recharge at Dawn. For some reason. Yeah, uh, Vinny, you know, having some, some uh, arcane abilities of your own and, and, and hiking for the, you know... Well, I guess, yeah, you... If you guys hike a little into the night, you'd be able to get back to Burma's uh, that evening. Or you could camp somewhere if you want. No, let's just uh, go back. Um, but yeah, after spending enough time with the horn and sort of like... Yeah, you get the feeling that this will... Uh, this will reset, and it's basically casting spell conjure animals. So you now have a. Uh, you should add this to your inventory, Vinny. Conjure animal is it always badgers? No, no. it's the, it's it's casting the spell conjure animals. Oh. And so now now that you've sort of learned more about it, oh. you have a little more control over it. Uh, we can we can discuss exactly what that means later. Okay. Um, but yeah, you guys, you guys, it's late when you get back to the farm, um, or the, you know, to, to Burma and, uh, yep. at Burma's and Uncle Bunkles and, um, uh, you enter in and she's very glad to see you and that you're not dead and you relate the day's events uh, over a late cup of tea. Uh, and I think you go to sleep and have a long rest. And I think that is where we're going to pick things up next time as you sort of decide whether you're going to head out and search for a snow crash or not. But you can feel confident that you've explored the, the burial cave of Thor completely. And got a cool horn. And got a cool horn that lets you cast conjure animals once a day. I feel like we shouldn't blow it around town because, like, it's the dwarves' capital, and they'll be like, hey, wait, wasn't our leader from years ago buried with that? How do you have that? Yeah, come to mention, I mean, yeah, I guess, would you have shown, would you have shown Aunt Burma the horn? I don't think so. I mean, that's why I didn't take that helm. I was like, well, yeah. eh, I kind of feel like this is not right. <laughs> You, 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 uh, yeah, because when, when you're describing the tomb, Aunt Burma's like, oh, oh, that is, wow, yeah, no, that is, uh, that's probably the final resting place of, of Thor. Mm. And, yeah, um, okay. everything was gone. That's incredible. So I wonder if I should have a word with Big Jim about his stolen, uh, huh. Mm, Interesting. Yeah, That's the guy. Yes. But I mean, what is what is the that guy gonna do with it anyway? I 
don't know. It just doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't, but, I mean, maybe you could ask for certain more uh, historical significant items to be brought to uh, the town hall or to the museum or something like that for everyone to enjoy. But they can keep the gold, because gold is just gold. Yes, we'll, we'll have to discuss it. Um, I'll bring it up with the, with the city elders. What's important is Big Jim did it. But we could we could say that the um, one of the walls had been um, vandalized and someone had scratched out the two brothers fighting a young dragon. Mm. As if maybe someone was upset that the two brothers vanquished that dragon. Oh, um... Interesting. So... The history... It sounds like... I'm not fully... My parents and grandparents told a lot of stories. Um... One of them was how the uh, now the, the brothers in arms, they weren't related by blood, but Thor and Torin at one point did best a white dragon wormling and they cast it into uh, a, a, a cleft or a, a cleft, cleft in the ice in one of the northern most territories where it had sort of taken a hold and they fought it back against um, and then and, uh, and so I wonder if they perhaps did not mortally wound that wormling and that was a young snow crest mm. and there have been over the years not recently again we haven't seen snow crest and oh probably over a hundred years, if not more. But there were times when Snowcrest had a, a cult following, shall we say. That's a very interesting. Well, I am tired and old and I'm going to go to bed. Um, we shall see you all in the morning. Long rested up. All so right, then, long rested and then up. I cast uh, greater invisibility on myself. Oh! Boom! <laughs> Drum disappears. Uh oh. And uh, and Aunt Burma is like, he's getting it. Very good, very good, Drum. Uh, but do you have to roll? Yeah, wild magic much? Oh, I do have to. Let's see. So that's not a sorcerer spell. Uh, I'm I'm safe for now. All right. Good call. I love it. All right. Thank you all for playing. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on BND Live.